Uh, I've been playing the Speed Cobras since uh, summer of 2010. Last summer, I think Tama sent me some of the initial prototypes to check out, and I was on the road with Dream Theater at the time. I told my tech to put them on at, so at Soundcheck one day to just check them out, and they never came off. These are by far the, the smoothest Tama pedals I've ever played, and I've been playing Tama pedals since I was a teenager in the, in the early 80s. My first uh, sets were, I, I used the Camco pedals, but then I was using these other Tama pedals throughout the 80s and into the 90s, and then when Iron Cobras came around, I switched over to those. And now with the Speed Cobra, it's by far the smoothest, fastest pedal I've ever played. You know, everything about it, it's durable, it's fast, it's light. It's got the longer footboard, which is really cool. And uh, it's just kind of like, like playing on a cloud. The new beaters, I, I think it, it, it gives you a little more balance, yeah, and I like the weight of it and the attack of having uh, this as opposed to a flat attack. I put them on my kit at the start of the Dream Theater summer tour with Iron Maiden, and I went right from that tour into touring with Event Sevenfold, like literally the next week, and basically did you know almost eight months straight of touring between Dream Theater and Event Sevenfold and Transatlantic and. Uh, and the pedals just held up, not, not a single problem. After all those shows with all those bands and all, you know, all over the world, and uh, they held up. So it speaks volumes for, for Tama's incredible durability.